Thank you so much for taking time out to share your story as well as the heart behind Life Community Church. There are so many individuals who have played a special part in this journey, but God called you from the beginning and planted this dream in your heart. Can you tell us a little bit about those key moments on your journey? Wow, what a question. Uh, 25 years is a lot to think about. Um, Shelly and I met when we were teenagers and uh, really felt a calling to ministry uh, as we began to grow together and eventually got married, uh, both very young, 20 and 18. Uh, we had went off to retreat and the Lord just really moved upon my heart and uh, just kind of called me away from all the rest of the kids into a hallway. And that day I surrendered my heart uh, completely to the Lord. And I'll never forget him. That's the day he called me. And he said, you know, he told me I was going to marry Alan. He told me that we would one day pastor our own church. Um, I remember walking away from that retreat being a changed woman and so in love with Christ. I don't believe if I wouldn't have had that encounter when I was a young person that all the things that we've experienced in the 25 years, if I wouldn't have had that kind of encounter, I don't think that we would still be in ministry today because um, when God shows up in your life, He completely changes everything. And when He says something, you know that you can take it to the bank. We discovered that uh Oftentimes what happened was that we'd go to a place and it would be a horrible, horrible circumstance uh, beyond what we could ever imagine and we'd be hurt. And, uh, but we didn't re realize that that hurt was establishing something in us that to say we wouldn't be that way, we wouldn't do it that way, we wouldn't become that way. And so there was this real, uh, oh, I guess, uh, resoluteness about ourselves that said that we're gonna do ministry in a different way with character and integrity uh, with compassion, uh, putting a high value on relationships. That all came together and then of course we met Jim Mackey around 1998 and when we met Jim we were in Bible college and uh, one of the first things he asked us before we even started ministry he said you're gonna have to define what success means to you. We really had to define success one family at a time, one relationship at a time, uh, one person growing in Christ at a time uh, one victory at a time. Success was defined by us by the relationships that we built over the years and some of those have been great and, and some of them we have messed up royally and if you're watching today we're so sorry. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, we, we were learning and growing and still learning and growing along the way. We, we haven't arrived by any measure. Uh, in 1993 we came to uh, Laporte and started Life Community Church uh, and we started with 18 people uh, in a little Mexican restaurant and they decided, hey, this is a good idea to have a church here in Laporte, Texas. And when they decided that, uh, we within a couple of weeks, we decided to have our first meeting and there was a little uh, community center on Farrington there in Laporte. Uh, now I think it's held, it holds uh, lawnmowers and <laughs> stuff like that. But at the time it was a little community center. We met there for a couple of months before we moved down to Fairport Green Shopping Center at 146 in Fairmont Parkway. And there was a knock on the door and um, went outside and there was a guy in a white lab coat, uh, as tall as I was, uh, and much deeper voice. Uh, and he asked me the question, are you the pastor of this church? Uh, and I answered, a little bit intimidated, but I answered and said I was. And uh, we developed a relationship. Within a couple of weeks, he knocked on my door again. And with these words, this is what he said. Uh, God's leaned on me to help your little church. And that particular day, uh, leading up to the next week, uh, he wrote a check for $100,000 to Life New Church. Never attended our church, never attended. And over the next course of eight to 10 years, he was gonna give almost a half million dollars uh, to Life Community Church and, and never attended, which is phenomenal. Every time we would pass, uh, be coming down Fairmont Parkway, Alan would look off and he would look at this piece of property and he would say, that would be a great place for a church. And he said it every single time that we passed that piece of property. In fact, I got really tired of listening to it every time we'd pass it. Um, the bank 
had called and said, hey, you know, Pastor Neil, we understand you're looking for a piece of property and there's a piece of property coming up for auction. And, but we wanted to make that available to you if you want to purchase it. And, and so it just happened to be that same piece of property. And, you know, I think there's something to be said about the power of our words and the dreams that God places in our heart. And I can still remember how excited we were when we, we found out about that piece of land. It was just like we knew that God, God had planted that in our hearts. And we knew that that piece of property was ours and just the way that it all worked out. You know, I still look back on it this day and you know, you know that it's a God's plan. It's not just a man's plan, it's God's plan and that was, I still look back on that and I'm always excited. That's been one of the things, just planning the 25th year of celebrating, looking back on the things that God did. I mean, it wasn't about Alan and I, it wasn't about our dreams, it was about what God planted in the heart of his people. Uh, you know, we purchased that piece of property on Fairmont Parkway uh, there in 1994 for $122,000 and built that little 6,000 square foot building. Um, and uh, uh, I would kind of put our journey on the place as, as we were able to be pastors of people, God increased the people he gave us. Uh, as we grew, the church grew. Um, and that's kind of been the process all along, that we still have a desire, honestly, you know, God's blessed us, but we still have a desire to be small church pastors. I mean, because we care for people. Uh, and really that's what church is all about. And so God kept us at, just at the place we needed to be. And one day I got a call from our pastor, Pastor Mackey, invited me to go to Nigeria and be a part of a pastor's conference there. I was very hesitant. Uh, that's, that's to say the least. Well, come to find out I was going to meet a man on that trip. In addition to my spiritual dad, I was going to meet a man on that trip that was going to be integral in the life of our ministry and the church and has become a mentor and, more importantly, a really good friend. Uh, his name is Pastor Gary Brothers, and he, <coughs> he was pastoring in Cape Girardeau, Missouri, and still is to this day at Cape First. A dear friend of our, 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 us personally, and uh, we've traveled the world together and had lots of fun. But uh, he began speaking in my life, and he spoke those words. Uh, There's nobody holding you back but you, and you're allowing your past to determine your future. Uh, those were life-changing. And I realized that God had to get me out of a comfort zone uh, and take me halfway around the world for him to speak those words to me. I mean, we took care of what we had, and God blessed us. And so after God, we, that, that began to happen, the church began to multiply and grow exponentially. Uh, we've been begin doing multiple services. We did two services on on Sundays. We would do one service on Saturday night, and uh, really knew we had to build a bigger building. And that's when God began moving upon us to build that bigger building. Mm -hmm. We had a banker on our elders, and and bankers are good, are good at telling you about enough money and how much things are going to cost. And uh, he came to the elders meeting, and he said. Uh, well, we're going to go from $1,700 a month to almost $12,000 a month. And it was a big jump. And I'll never forget, it seemed like fear swallowed up the room, and there was, it didn't seem like there's much oxygen left in the room. But my dad that night really stepped up, and he was the man of faith. Um, and that's exactly what he said. He asked the question of everyone there that night. He said, aren't we men of faith? Mm -hmm. Uh, don't we believe that if God's called us to do this, He'll take care of it? And God has continued to bless us. And, and since that time, we've opened up the building now. It's been oh, you know, going on 13 years now. So glad we have so many new people that have joined us and joined us in this journey. It's going to be a great journey. Uh, and we're going to continue to grow and God's going to do big things. And uh, just looking forward to what's going to happen in the next 25 years.